If you're building DraftKings DFS lineups using Sabersim without making any adjustments to projections, ownership, or exposure in step one, you're going to see this message on step three after your lineups are created. It says to make two plus changes to unlock your lineups. This is a DraftKings community guidelines regulation that requires that users make these two changes before lineups are unlocked. Now, all this means is that you have to make two or more changes to your projections or exposures in step three to be able to see your lineups. One of my favorite ways to do that is to sort by the value column and take a couple players that I'm getting a lot of exposure to with high point per dollar value and knock their projections down a little bit. Maybe for Charlie Morton, I'll adjust his projection to 21 points instead. And maybe for Richie Palacios, I'll knock his projection down to 4.5. After making two of these adjustments, the lineups will be visible and will be totally unlocked to download. Another option here is to adjust your exposures instead. I can sort by my highest exposed players here and maybe manage my risk a bit to some of these higher exposed players in my pool by bringing Joe Ryan's maximum exposure down to, say, 50%, and maybe Palacios's exposure over to 40%. And again, my lineups will be unlocked. What you don't have to do here, and a common misconception, is you do not need to lock in a player into two of your different lineups or remove two players completely from your pool. If you would like to have 100% exposure to a player, it's perfectly fine to lock in two players from into your lineups, and that will also remove the message. But this is a pretty extreme approach, and I wouldn't use this as the first thing you're trying to do when you're trying to remove that DraftKings message. The last note I'll make here is if you make any adjustments on step one, or if you make at least two adjustments on step one to your player projections or exposures or ownerships, you won't see the message at all when you get to step three. I just wanted to record this quick video to walk through the best ways to remove the DraftKings unlock lineups message on step three. If you have any other questions, always feel free to reach out at support at sabersim.com. Thanks and good luck.